Hey Scorpio, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, subscribing. I do appreciate it. This is going to be your monthly reading, October 2020, for the whole month of October. What do we have here? Wow, loving man, lack consciousness, and honoring path at the bottom. Interesting. All right, what else do we need to know for Scorpio here? Please, anyone with Scorpio placements? October 2020. Broken heart, hostilities, and woman holding the heart. That's very, very interesting. All right, let's talk. We've got the man holding the heart. Well, the loving man, same thing, different deck, but same idea. And the woman, woman holding the heart. That's crazy. Lack consciousness, broken heart, hostilities, and honoring path. All right, so what we have here is someone, these are two people that are not together right now. There was some kind of fight, something happened. Some, both of them are suffering some, he's got lack consciousness, she's got a broken heart. I do feel as though um, we're trying to get past some kind of hostilities here. What? Let's get one on the hostilities. Can I have one card on the hostilities? What's this hostilities card about? Why is it here? Happy family. Yeah, these are family issues. All right, we also have deceit at the bottom. We have anxiety at the bottom. There's been some kind of family issues here. Tell me about the honoring path. Why is the honoring path here? One more on the honoring path. Nope, just one, please. Why is the, what is the honoring path doing here? Playing it safe. That came up with honoring path for someone else's reading. I want to say, could it have been cancer? Could have been cancer's reading. Um, the honoring path and playing it safe. I feel like I want one more. Give me one more on honoring path. Increase. All right. Excellent. All right. So somebody is getting out of the same old, same old kind of being playing it safe like not doing much of anything they're going to go towards increase they're going to go get on a higher um playing field they're going to go get on this honoring path whether it's him or her or both of them i don't know but there has been she's dealing with a broken heart because of family hostilities he's he has some kind of lack consciousness well he wasn't on this honoring path i think but he's getting on it um, he's just been kind of playing it safe and he's starting. I almost feel like he's going to take the high road on something. All right. Well, let's get into it and see what else we need for everyone. I did pull two love cards and we do have love in this reading. So I definitely feel like we need to pull some love cards. What are the love messages please for Scorpio? Anyone with Scorpio placements? What's important here? Okay. Okay, wow, that's really, oh my gosh, I feel like I need to take both of these. All right, we've got separation, a time apart from your partner is on the horizon, but this could already be happening. All right, so there's been some kind of separation or there will be religious factors and healing family issues. I felt with family coming out, this was necessary too. Okay, religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. This could be any kind of differences between two people. It could be your family differences. It could be your um, level of um, education differences. It could be um, your financial differences, your religious factors. It could be, you know, color, race, anything. It could be, you know anything anything um something's keeping you guys apart the separation is because of the fact that you're so there's something that you're not maybe you work together you're not allowed to be you know date within you know the job um sphere here this could also have to do with family there could be a family war and you two love each other but because of the family's fighting you can't be together healing family issues 
your love life benefits as you forgive your parents but this could be anything it doesn't have to be exactly about parents so we got an in a situation here where two people are being kept apart i do feel like there are family issues that play here in some way because of the um hostilities in family that came up here for the woman she's dealt with some kind of hostilities and when i clarified it family came out he has been in this lack consciousness he wants something more in his life but he feels like he can't have it well dude don't let any i'm telling you guys right now don't let family don't let religion don't let anything keep you apart from the person you love screw that shit no way sorry spouting out i'm spouting out all right <laughs> <laughs> all right let's get into it what else do we need to know here please scorpio reading what's important this seems like a pretty significant reading because you both have such similar energies here it's like you're mirroring each other you guys could be twin flames you could be two people that are very strong soulmates what do we need to know about this reading please yeah grieving somebody is grieving absolutely depressed let's see if this is going to transform let's see if it's going to transform we just want one one or two more please this is so weird is this two cards no okay it looked like two all right what else do we need to know about this reading oh my god absolutely oh my gosh are you kidding me look at this i mean these two people are supposed to be together i gotta move this stuff we got they're grieving each other one of them's grieving the i think they both are look one stop can't stop thinking about you know the peace and the ring and well they show money here but it's just somebody who's really missing something or someone grieving all right we've got somebody here very much there's an opportunity for this situation to transform i feel there's so much loyalty here there's also hope involved someone's really wanting to um connect with the other one but some for some reason oh my gosh let's see if we can find out why what the problem is here can we get why all this grieving why vivido and grand um consolazoni why why the el, el vivido Il Vivido and Grand Consul Zoni. Why? Why are they here like this? These are both cards of depression and grief. Oh my God, because there's love for the Empress. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. So it's because this man loves this woman and look at her holding her heart. She loves him too. These are two people, look at them looking at each other. These are two people that love, this is Giovanni Fenicula and this deck, that's the Empress. And this is La Amente, the male lover. He's waiting for her to come to the window. Like he's waiting to see her. Oh my gosh, this is like Romeo and Juliet. That's what this feels like to me. Like Romeo and Juliet, they're not allowed to be together because of the family. Oh my God, my heart's breaking here. All right, let's get some after tarot on this. Where's this going next? Guys, what? I mean, come on, this can't be going on. What do we need to know about what comes next here? Scorpio reading, what comes next? What do we need to know about what comes next here, please? Yeah, someone can't even sleep at night. They're so upset about it. They will fight the demons. It will get better healing there's a healing coming through excellent oh well are we going to come together is somebody going to you know forget what the family says and everybody else and come together it's divinely guided archangel michael information could come in pretty quickly all right let me get a little more there's too many here um what comes next please tell us what is the outcome of this situation this is these people are being divinely guided to just come together and heal this situation regardless of what anyone else says absolutely judgment yep absolutely look let go of the confusion let go of the choices let go of whatever you're holding on to that the family wants or you know whoever this is that's keeping you guys whatever it is that's keeping you apart they're saying 
make the right choice. If you make the wrong choice, this card is always a warning. Some choices are good ones, some are bad ones. But they're saying let go of whatever's been holding you back. Judgment says bring this back together. Archangel Michael and Archangel Gabriel are both here encouraging you to come together with whoever this is. This is divinely guided. It truly is. There's a healing to come here. Let me grab you guys a couple of angel cards real quick before I let you go. Angels, for anyone that resonates with this reading, please tell me what they need to know or focus on from the bottom. Education, creativity, and willingness. Absolutely. All right. So this was a karmic education. It was probably a karmic cycle. They're saying get creative. Do what you need to do. This could be work for some of you. This could be a work situation. Keeping two people apart. And willingness to um, work together is probably what's going to help. Let me get one more. synthesis yeah there's a lot of happiness to be had here if you guys are willing to i feel like somebody's worrying way too much about this just come together you'll work it out from there that's how love works anyway guys i hope that you enjoyed this reading please like share subscribe and let me know if this resonated with anyone it's romeo and Juliet's story all right um I hope that it did. If you guys need a personal reading, my information is directly beneath this video in the description box. Reach out to me by email. Price of readings there. PayPal's there. All that. If you want to comment down below, let me know if we connected energy or if you know what this is about. I'd love to hear from you. Comment down below. Okay, guys. Have a great month. Talk to you soon. Bye.